Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to expand image here in Adobe Express. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Adobe Express, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Expanding an image here in Adobe Express is very simple. All I have to do is go to the project or design that you're working once you are logged in to your account. If you haven't already, just go to the template section. You can choose from these inspiring designs to begin your work. Or if you want to upload your own content and start from scratch and expand the image later, just click on this button right here. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this design that I've been working. All right. Now, for you to be able to expand any images here, right? I'm going to the media. I'm going to the photos. Add more photos here for as long as we can, all right? All I'm going to do is go to the crop section. You see that crop? You can resize the image so that it will fit your design, all right? You can do that. Delete this one right here. I'm going to add a new a new photo right here on the left side. Maybe the uh, three girls right here. All right. You can maximize all the way through and cover all of the canvas. Or, of course, you can use the uh, drop-down menu here. Another option where you can expand the image is right-click on the photo. You see you have an option to freeform the photo original square. You see that? landscape widescreen story report and you can also have the option to shape this as part of the expansion of your image here in adobe express i'm gonna undo it right now because we don't need that it's a very easy thing to do right here okay now after making sure that the image has been expanded, you want to make sure once once you have downloaded the uh, images in one design, you want to make sure that you download the best, right? Which is transparent PNG best for images. If you want to print this design, you might want to choose the PDF print, which is best for printing. Make sure the uh, DPI are set to the highest quality. You can choose to add crop marks or show bleed, all right? But if you want to share this amazing design, which you have expanded all the images together, you might want to click on the share button, copy that link, and send it to your client or to your boss so you can show all of them. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.